that's enough of that, that's enough of that. I bet you're sick of that song by now. Right, good evening, everyone. Welcome to uh, Not Mojo, I'm afraid. Here we are in our home office, and we are going to be quizzing tonight for the first time online. Uh, now, it's going to help me out immensely if I know who is tuning in and where from, because I know that we've got people from quite literally now all over the world. Um, the response to, to us creating this online quiz has been nothing short of phenomenal. And I know we've got people in Africa, we've got people over in Dubai, I've got friends in London that are tuning in, uh, guys in the Czech Republic, obviously here in Romania, uh, people in Bucharest, uh, the, our regulars from the Big British Bucharest Quiz uh, tuning in. We've got the guys that go quizzing with Carmen down in Timisoara, raising money down there for uh, Liveswood. We, we help them with the questions and the rounds. We know that you're tuning in as well. So we have got a chat on the side. It's gonna really help us out if, uh, you know, get involved, talk to us. And uh, if you're unsure about something, post it on there. I can see it. And, uh, you know, I'll try and do my best to to help you out as we go. So look, fun yet competitive quiz, as I always say, but it's completely different tonight. We are, hello, Raluca. Uh, we are, oh, who have we got here? Sam, Alex, Clara and Victoria, you're all coming in from Brashoff. That's nice. I didn't even know we had people down in Brashoff tonight. That's brilliant. Uh, so welcome, thank you. Um, now, you're playing tonight, first and uh, foremost, because you have uh, accepted the challenge to basically keep our little company alive. And it's not something that we expected. I'm just going to get the timer on here so I know how long we've got till quiz starts, eight and a half minutes. Um, it's not something uh, we expected to happen from, from you guys. Um, there was a bit of hope uh, this time last week that we might be able to survive. We're going to survive. There's no doubt about it. The, the, the response from you has just been nothing short of phenomenal. Um, and we are we are beyond thankful. Um, we don't know how long this is going to last, and, and if anything, that's the real problem. We can deal with it if we know it's only one, two, three weeks, but, you know, with it being, well, we don't need to tell you, with it being as it is, uh, we just are so thankful for the way that you've responded. Um, we topped 100 this evening, 100 Patreons this evening, and well done to Lee Hawkins. You became our 100th uh, Patreon this evening, and I'm going to buy you a beer, mate. Whenever you see me in the bar, come and grab me beer on me okay uh, anything you like i don't mind even guinness even though it's uh, more expensive so look fun yet competitive quiz tonight we have got some great prizes to give away as well we've been lucky enough to be uh, sponsored by gbr tronics uh, some of you might know gbr tronics if you're here in bucharest they have a wonderful little store in the old town just the most fantastic gadgets, uh, everything from Sennheiser headphones to Dyson cleaners and what have you. They sell tons of stuff. Uh, now, the store, much like every other store in the city, has had to close at the moment, but their online store is up and active. And tonight, they'll be giving us two prizes. If you win tonight, a 200 lay voucher to spend online, or if you want to hold on till the shop opens, you can go in there. Uh, and spend it in there. And if you come second tonight, we'll get you a 100 lay voucher. And as uh, is tradition, I like to give out silly-ish prizes as well. So you might have seen on our Facebook page, we do have a couple of little prizes yeah. as well. Uh, so first place tonight, we'll also get, this is probably in bad taste, but we have got a Venom Pop. Okay, so that's gonna, that's gonna go out to you. Second place, you'll get the 100 lay and a gaming t-shirt, retro gaming t-shirt, it's pretty cool. Um, and it wouldn't be a quiz here in Romania, um, particularly in Bucharest. I don't know if you do this in Timisoara, but you really should. It wouldn't be a quiz without the good old detergent, all right? So I have got some uh, Darrow there. For whoever ends up in third place, you will get that. Now, I will make sure that we get this stuff to you. Um, it's probably going to be a while um, because we can't even rely on post at the moment. So uh, don't worry. Your name will go on the prize and you will get the prize. Right, six minutes until we get into the quiz. Uh, let's have a look and see what we've got. So we've got Anna, Simon, Andre, Victor, Vlad, Robert, Mihaila. Jamie's saying hello as well. Uh, yeah, hello, mate. Uh, Raluca's up the top. You're nuts. Hello. So good to have you all here. 55 of you tuning in. And, um, you know, let's hope we, uh, we spread the word and get a few more. I'm going to run these quizzes every single week, okay? I'm going to do them every week. And you know what? I've been thinking about this with the response that we've had. I'm going to try and throw the odd extra one in as well, maybe themed. I know that you love the theme quizzes that we do with the speed quizzing. Maybe we'll do some football ones, maybe on a Saturday. We can do some Harry Potter, Friends, all the stuff that you love. We'll bung some extra ones in on top of the ones that we're already doing weekly, okay, to give you uh, as much back as we possibly can because you've looked after us and we frankly want to entertain 
and look after you. Five minutes to go until we kick into the quiz. Let's talk about the quiz quickly. 50 straight up questions. They are all multiple choice. You should all be logged in now. Let's have a quick look and see uh, how many people we have logged in. Oh, so quite a lot of you playing this evening. At the moment, yeah, everybody's starting to log in right now. So we have 91 players as it stands. I've got a feeling that's going to climb ever so slightly. So almost everybody that is a Patreon. Uh, hopefully nobody's passed their um, 92. So nobody's passed on the password to anyone that isn't a Patreon. Get them to sign up and join in so that they can get all the benefits as well. That would be great. Uh, so the quiz. 50 uh, multiple choice questions. They are all multiple choice. Uh, similar to our speed quiz, there are bonuses if you are the fastest. We give a three, two, one bonus. Beware, some of the questions do have more than one answer. Okay, so look at the question, read it carefully. You only get 15 seconds from the point where the question appears on your tablet, on your phone, or on your, your screen. 15 seconds. Answer as quickly as you can. There is an enter button. You can log the answer quick. If you don't press that button, it's fine. It will still log whatever you've last pressed. But if you want to be quick, press your answer, log it in, and you will try and hopefully get some bonus points. Now, you get five bonus points for a correct answer, uh, and you'll get five bonus points for every single answer if there are multiple correct answers in one question. But beware. Beware, if you tap an incorrect answer along with a correct answer, you'll only get one point for that correct answer. I hope that makes sense. I'm sure it does. Who else have we got? James, my man, thank you for coming in. Uh, oh, we've got Team Thailander, our regulars at the quiz. They're all quizzing together tonight. That's really, really cool. Uh, Bogdan. Uh, it, oh, James, you've got Raluca. I was getting worried, mate. It was just you saying hello, but you've got your missus there. That's good. And Madalena, hello as well. Uh, keep the messages coming in because, frankly, I've got to sit here for about an hour tonight. And, uh, you know, I want to I want to try and have as much fun with you guys as we can. Just going to have a quick look up the top here because I think we've got a couple of new Patreons. Yes, we have. Murchia's uh, just got in. So hopefully, Murchia, uh, you, you have managed to log on and join us for this quiz. Thank you so much for becoming one of our patrons right now. Uh, so if you enjoyed tonight, it goes without saying, tell everyone about it. Tell everyone about it. Let's see if we can get even more people on here and uh, and playing along. Less than three minutes till we kick off with the quiz. 45-second uh, delay is what we've decided between questions because we know that we've got people that are joining each other tonight in homes, and we want you to have a bit of fun, a bit of banter, and you know we don't want you to only be staring uh, at, your, at your tablet or phone or whatever. Uh, we want to give you a little bit of an opportunity to have a chat in between questions. So question appears, 15 seconds to answer. 45 second break the next question will come there are no full breaks there are no rounds or anything like that it is a straight up 50 uh, question quiz all the way through from start to finish you will be able to see the current leaderboard you will be able to see how you're doing live as we play the quiz hello radika and christy bigger longer and uncut and you've got a first-time member playing with you. Thank you, Alexandra. We'll have to get you along to a proper one. Adrian, uh, are you in London? I think you're over in London at the moment, mate. Uh, regular at the quiz for years and years and years uh, and had a baby not long ago. So congratulations to you. Uh, Gaz is asking for a beer uh, because Lee gets one. Sorry, Gaz. Uh, Lee managed to become the 100th person and I am literally not made of money. Hi, Tim. Yeah, Jan's here as well with his smiley face. Uh We've got someone quizzing from down the road, which is kind of worrying people outside my house now, uh, but that's perfectly fine. Yeah, Adrian in London. Okay, good to see you. Uh, the delay on this, we've tested it. We think it's only two or three seconds. Sincere apologies if it's not for you, uh, because obviously we haven't tested it with lots of people uh, uh, logging in and tuning in. We hope that the lag won't be too bad for you. Um, I will sort of read the questions, I think, as we go to, to help you out maybe. Uh, but rely on reading the question to yourself as much as anything. We are down to a minute, just over a minute, until we get into our first quiz. One last request I will have. All you guys sending me these messages, these messages which is wonderful. Uh, get some pictures. I haven't got Christian, the greatest photographer in the world, coming around and taking pictures of you. Get pictures of yourselves, playing along, enjoying yourselves. If you win tonight, make sure you get a winner's picture. And can you get them to us? Either email them at quiz at mojomusic.ro, send them to our Facebook page, do whatever you have to do, get them to me. And in the next few days, I'll create a nice little album uh, on our, our Facebook page, our quiz Facebook page, to uh, show everybody how you all joined in 
wherever you are in the world. 30 seconds then, guys, before we get into our first ever Fast 50 quiz. Remember, 50 questions back to back. Don't panic. Read the question. If you're fastest, you get bonus points. Uh, if you're second fastest, bonus points. If you uh, are third fastest, a little bonus point as well. 15 seconds. Good luck, everyone. People in their pajamas. I don't believe you, James. I can't, actually, I could see you in pajamas. Uh, Maruna's gutted because she didn't get dressed up tonight. Well, I, I'm, I'm sorry, Maruna. I'm sure you're in a wig. Three, two, one. We are about to go live now. Good luck, everyone. Let's quiz. Right, your first question is on the screen. Which US city is known as the Motor City? Select your answer. 30 people answering, 42 people answering, lots of people tapping away. Some of these questions, not super difficult. There might be a tricky one or two in there. Right, the system is working wonderful. 92% of you getting this one right. It was Detroit. Uh, just a couple of incorrect answers. Uh, nobody going for Washington, thankfully, but that is beautiful Detroit sitting there. Uh, I think it was a setting for 8 Mile, if you ever saw it, with, um, with Eminem. 92.6% uh, actually, 1.1 of you thought it was New York, 6.4 going for Chicago. Let's wait for the next question. Whoa, here we go. Now we are working with a system in the US and we are assured that everything will work just fine. If it doesn't, we will panic. Bear with us because, you know, we're learning as much as anything. All right, now everyone's going to get this right. Super. It looks like we had a glitch there. Don't worry about it. Just bear with us because we are learning as much as you are as we go. All right, we are counting down to the next question. Yes, I am drinking from a Rick and Morty mug. Don't worry about it. Right, Jan takes the early lead then. Let's hope that the next question works nicely. We have tested this system out and it was fine earlier. Let's hope it works again. Hopefully, hopefully everybody is getting on okay. Four seconds till the next question. There you go. If you are officially appointed to sit on the bench, what would your profession be? Get your answers in. Most of you managing to answer in time. Most of you getting it right as well. A judge, a few of you going for a weightlifter. Yeah, they lay on the bench, I think, more than more than sit on the bench. But if you're sitting on the bench, you are a judge. Park keeper, someone's just deliberately trying to come last by the looks of things. Uh, so we still have Jan out in the, uh, in the lead. The Bears now in for uh, joint second place with Dan. Uh, but lots of time left, loads and loads of questions still to come. But hopefully you're getting the hang of it now. Remember, tap your uh, answer and then just press the enter button and you should get bonus points if you're nice and quick. 78 viewers now. If you haven't said hello to us yet, please do. Uh, new subscriber as well. Thank you very much. Yeah, sorry about that, Victor. It seemed like a glitch at the front there. I can't control this website. Let's have a look at this next question. What nationality was the famous outlaw Ned Kelly? There he is in all his glory. British, American, Australian or South African? We noticed the glitch as well at the start there, Victor. I'm going to feed back to the company that's helping us with this. Australian, 72.5% of you going for it. That is the correct answer. Well done to you. Hopefully we won't get any more glitches here. It seems to be going all right at the moment. So we've got a freeway tyre at the top. Alina, Dan and Jan all leading the way. Now, if we get to the very final question and you're all tied, it will be on speed on the final question. So exciting times. Come on, Victor. Lots and lots of points to be won. Andrew in second place at the moment. Well done to you. Three people just ahead of you. Hello to CKB, me old mate, good to talk to you earlier. Playing along in London. Three seconds, here we go. Next question, question number four. What is the name of this Disney character? Choice of two, Lilo or Stitch? Is that Lilo or Stitch? I've just realized you can probably all hear me drinking tea. That's not the most pleasant sound for you, but you know, don't worry about it. 
Right, nearly tricked some of you. Uh, what we've got, 80% against 20%, just about 80% of you getting the right answer of Stitch. Lilo is the young girl in the uh, in the Disney Pixar cartoon. Hey, Jim, thanks for subscribing, mate. Do appreciate it. CKB, my mate in London there, taking some pictures to send to us. Thank you very much. Make sure the rest of you do as well. Uh, if you haven't got the pin and you want to get the pin, uh, you can do so by just looking at the Patreon page and looking at the... Uh, the messages there obviously can't broadcast it here because uh, the pin is secret for Patreon members only. But if you've signed in as a Patreon member, go and have a look. The last message does have the pin on there. All right, 15 seconds to go to answer this. What type of animal was the mythological basilisk, reptile, spider, fish, or a lion? The worm from Earth. Oh, Chris, if only people knew you, I would put that onto the, our YouTube feed here so people could see you doing that back in the day when you had hair. Hi, Adina. Thanks for joining us tonight. 88% of you getting this one right. It is a reptile. It's like a giant, horrible snake thing. Uh, nobody went for spider. A couple of you thought it was a fish, and a few of you thought it was a lion. Uh, Yon, having a strong quiz at the moment, mate. Well done. Out in front. And now, uh, you are dead. In second, you're not type of anybody. Dan, Dan's down into third place, tying with Alina. Nice, close quiz. Let's see if we can get another question. Let's just help this young lady out here with a goat. There you go. Hopefully that helps you out. Right, next question. What's the name of that 1980s TV show? You might recognize the actor and the actress, but what is the name of the show? So did we manage to fool anybody here? I doubt it very much. Not too difficult. Although, oh, look at this. Nearly 70% of you getting it right. Lots of you thinking it's Cagney and Lacey. Uh, no, that was uh, that was two women, female police, uh, police officers. Uh, Miami Vice... Definitely not. Moonlighting, yeah. Sybil Shepherd, Bruce Willis, classic TV show. Nobody going for Hill Street Blues, which was a great show. That needs to be remade. They're remaking everything, 21 Jump Street and what have you. Why are they not doing Hill Street Blues as a movie? That would be a good film. Uh, hopefully, uh, if you've just picked up the pin, you are now in. Welcome, AD. Uh, AD, our sound guy has just joined in. Don't worry, mate. You'll soon catch up. You're fine. Five seconds to your next question. Question number seven coming up. Brian Jones was a member of which rock group? Beatles, Rolling Stones, The Who, or Led Zeppelin? Brian Jones. Oh, a couple of you failing to answer there. You've got to be nice and quick. Most of you getting in. Okay, let's have a look at this. This tore you up a little bit. Look, 39% uh, getting it right. It was the Rolling Stones. The Who and Led Zeppelin were also popular. A couple of you thought he was in the Beatles. Uh, no. Um, so, yeah, Rolling Stones. He was one of the original lineup of the Rolling Stones. <laughs> I'm being sent catchphrases now. I don't I don't think we're at the point where we, we need catchphrases. Maybe. If you have the pin, you are in. That's nice. I like that. Very good. 10 seconds to your next question. Let's have a look. Andrew now. Andrew, what a quiz you're having already. Uh, 42. Now, I don't think, and I don't want to sell you short, I don't think you've ever been on a winning team at our quiz here in Bucharest, but you're leading the way at the moment. Roxy now in second place and Dan down to uh, third. Alina was just leading down to fourth. So you're looking for the year that Alfred Hitchcock died, 60, 70, 80 or 90. Alfred Hitchcock, the legendary director, 1980, lots of you getting this right, 66.3% of you getting it spot on. Come on, Andra, confidence you can do this. Yeah, sadly passed away in 1980, a ripe old age and a pretty special career as well. So, uh, you know, what a legend, great movies. Watch Rear Window the other day, it's fantastic. So Andra's still leaving the way. We've got Ruxy now in second place still, uh, Dan. Dan is still third. It's very tight. This could come down to the final question. Some people are uh, surprised that Alfred Hitchcock is dead. Uh, yes, yes, he, he he is. People telling me to stop touching my face. It's all right. I, I uh, No, it's not, is it? Yeah, don't touch your face, people. Don't, yeah, you're right. 
There's a Pink Floyd album. What's it called? What is the name of that Pink Floyd album? Yeah, sorry for upsetting some of you about uh, about him being dead, but, you know, move on. 40 years ago. Let's have a look then. Everybody answering well done. Oh, really torn on this one. Uh, just about half of you getting it right. That is uh, one of my favorite albums. Wish you were here. Wish you were here. Absolutely fantastic album. I think it's their best, but uh, you know we don't want to open that uh, that up. That just starts arguments. I adore that album. Absolutely adore it. So what happened there, Andrew? You dropped down to third, I'm afraid. Uh, Alina's making a bit of a fight back. Beyond still hanging in there, down in fifth. Dan in second. Ruxy is now leading the way on 49 points. So literally top five, 49, 48, 47, 46, 45. These bonus points, these speed bonus points are going to be quite important. Five seconds to your next question. Wish you were beer. Thanks, John. Let's have a look. Which US TV show featured the character of FBI assistant director Walter Skinner? Which show featured Walter Skinner? It's one of those. Everybody answered. It was the X-Files. It was the X-Files, played by Mitch Pelleggi, I think his name was, if my memory serves me right. Uh, we were split across there. A few people thinking Stranger Things. Some of you going for The Sopranos and a few of you going for Breaking Bad as well. But no, he was one of the lead characters in the X-Files. So we still haven't had any of our multiple answer questions, but they will pop up. So keep your eyes open. Read carefully. Uh, yeah, I, have, I wondered how long it would take for someone to ask me about my weird picture. There he is. It is a boy in a jar up there. It's it's art. Uh, Alina, if you're watching, I'm sure you recognize that from uh, from back when we worked together. I won it in a, in a charity auction, but I adore it. It's really, really cool. Next question coming up. There's a chocolate bar, but which chocolate bar is it? Snickers, Kinder Bueno, Lion, Kit Kat, Chunky. I hope you've all stocked up on chocolate. I certainly have. That is a lion bar. Yep, still split. Nobody going for Kinder Bueno, though. A few of you thought it was Snickers. A few of you thought it was a Kit Kat. Junkie it was a lion bar. Roxy's still in the lead. I don't know where, where Andrew's gone. She's dropped out. Uh, Dan, deuce points uh, in third now. Uh, there's the, you know, you're catching up. Dana now. Dana down there in joint fourth. Well done, Dana. Regular at the Big British Bucharest quiz. Looks like we have a few more patrons. Welcome to you if you're managing to join in. Uh, hello, Sean. Looks like you just joined in uh, at the last minute. Welcome, welcome. Five seconds to your next question. Hopefully the lag on this stream is not too bad. So there are the five novels from Dan Brown. Which of them was published last? Which of those novels was published last? Come on, Andra, tap away. You can still make a comeback. Now that really did split you. Origin, yeah, the one at the top. It sounds like it should be uh, the first book released. That was the last book released just a couple of years ago. They haven't yet made that into a movie, though, have they? So they did the movies in a funny order. Um, da Vinci Code, pretty much everyone's ever uh, read it in their life. I can remember being on the on the, uh, the underground back when that was released. It was uh, not as bad as when the Harry Potter books were released when I was working in the city, and every everyone was reading Harry Potter on the way to work. But, yeah, Da Vinci Code, everyone's read it. I haven't. I don't plan to. Ten seconds. Ten seconds to your next question. Ruxy, still out in front just by one point. Here we go. Next question. Let's have a look. What letter can be added to the term All Blacks to create the nickname for the New Zealand international basketball team? BFWT. Which one of those would you add? Some of you may have heard me talking about this fact before. I love it. Yeah, you add a T to get the tall blacks, the tall blacks. It's one of my favorite bits of trivia, and I couldn't resist dropping it in in a slightly different way tonight. It's just brilliant. Yeah, they called them the tall blacks. Just just such a clever bit of marketing, and that's how they are marketed throughout uh, throughout, throughout the world of basketball. And uh, the merchandise just sells brilliantly. So very, very clever. Ruxy, you've increased your lead by two points now. 
Well done, you. 78 people tuning in. If you haven't said hello, please do. 10 seconds to your next question. There's a flag, but which country does it belong to? Chad, Venezuela, Senegal, Colombia. Remember, tap your answer and enter it to be nice and quick to go for those bonus points. That is the flag of Venezuela. Uh, some of you are going for Chad there, but uh, I don't think anybody playing along here in Romania would be uh, would be ticking Chad because the flag of Chad is pretty much identical to that of Romania. Yeah, that is the flag of Venezuela. And we do have a new leader, Duz points out in front on 69. Ruxi on 67. Dana making a charge, 65 points. Mihai down there now in fourth. But we're only 14 questions in, long way to go. Hopefully you're enjoying it. Hi, Monica. Jan's complaining there's fewer watches than quizzes and he's, it's no fun without me. Well, that's very, very kind. I'm not going to buy you a beer for that. I know what you're angling for. Next question. Harry Potter, which of these is not a house at Hogwarts? But I do appreciate it, Jan. Thank you very much. Maybe some people are just concentrating heavily. I don't know. Right, let's have a look. What did we do there? So Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin were correct, but we put Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff should be Hufflepuff, of course, with a U. So did that change the scoreboard? Well, a little bit. Deuce points to that in front. Ruxy now, uh, just two points behind him. Dana, you're in third still. Jon, you've been there right from the start. You're in fourth. Wana has moved up into uh, joint fourth, actually, with Jon, so not too bad. <laughs> Jon's drinking. I think you all have to, right? I mean, we're all putting alcoholic rub on our hands. We should just put it inside and kill it from the inside. Why is no one thinking of that? Five seconds to your next question. There's an autograph. Who does it belong to? Whose autograph is that? Brad Pitt, Bill Clinton, Barack Obama, Billie Eilish. Billie Eilish becoming a bit of a joke at our quiz. For some reason, she seems to be in the last year in every single quiz. Not literally. It'd be wonderful if she turned up one day. Uh, that belonged to Brad Pitt, and it's the first time that we've had a correct answer where the smaller amount of people have answered. So 23.8% getting points there, and that will change the leaderboard ever so slightly. Ruxy now moving out in front. Dana up to second. Deuce points uh, in third. Is that you, CKB? Are you, are you Deuce points? I don't know. Uh, Mihai in fourth. Apocalypse Now appearing for the first time in the top five on 71. All these nicknames that you've given yourselves, I have no idea who you are unless you've used your real name. I'm sure you'll be telling me if you uh, win a prize tonight. <laughs> You're right, Eddie. Who does write Brad Pitt like that? Well, Brad Pitt probably. Next question. Right, here we go. Multiple answers. Select all of the songs that you can see that were released by the Spice Girls. More than one uh, answer there. Click them all. Be quick. Leave the ones that they didn't, <laughs> didn't sing. Oh, that's thrown a few of you. It looks like you've all managed to answer. Right, what did they do? They did do Wannabe. They did do Stop, and they did do Lo Let Love Lead the Way. Love Machine and Never Ever were by Girls Aloud and All Saints, uh, respectively. So if you managed to tap Wannabe, Stop, and Let Love Lead the Way, that would have gotten you 15 points. And it seemed to have helped Dana. You have jumped out to a massive lead all of a sudden, Dana, 93 points. Dan in second now on 85. Ruxy falling down to third on 79. Uh, Mihai's moved up uh, to joint fourth with Deuce points. So you see these questions are dropped in with multiple answers and you can get multiple points. You've just got to wait for them and you can catch up. Five seconds to your next question. Let's have a look. It's a baby, but who is it? Is it Dolph Lundgren, Donald Trump, Boris Johnson or Charlize Theron? Who's the baby? Everybody answered. Well done, well done. 
and we didn't fool too many of you. Well, half of you, actually. Uh, it's not Boris Johnson. That is Dolph Lundgren. So uh, I can only imagine what's happening in households across the world at the moment as, uh, as you realise that you've just mistaken uh, Dolph Lundgren for Boris Johnson. That's a fight I would like to see. I would pay good money to see it. I would pay good money for it to happen. That would be that would be pretty cool. Uh, it wasn't Charlize Theron. Uh, less said about that, the better. Uh, Donald Trump, absolutely not. Now you know it's Dolph Lundgren. You can absolutely see it. Look at his little face. Yeah, that grew into Dolph Lundgren, Boris Johnson. No, no. Oh, Vlad, thanks, mate. We did wonder who you are. Do's points for COVID-19. Very good. Three seconds to your next uh, question. Which of those monuments is the tallest? Statue of Liberty, Sydney Harbour Bridge, the Eiffel Tower, or Big Ben, or otherwise known as St. Stephen's Tower? Let's not get into Big Ben being the bell, blah, blah, blah. We all know it is. Everybody answered. And most of you getting it right, the Eiffel Tower, 62.5% of you going for it and getting it right. It is taller than all of those other monuments. Uh, Dana, you've been caught up a little bit, but you're still leading the way. Uh, Dan, second place on 95. And uh, and Vlad, otherwise known as Dew Points for COVID-19, uh, you are in third. Mihai still hanging around uh, in fourth and Ruxi filling the fifth place. St. Who's Tower? The actual tower is St. Stephen's, yeah. All right, here we go. Five seconds. Yeah, they might have renamed it, but traditionally it was called St. Stephen's Tower. May have named it after the Queen. Majority of modern pianos have how many white keys? 32, 42, 52, 62. Do you know your music? How many white keys on uh, the majority of modern pianos? Fifty-two is the correct answer. Thirty-five and a half percent of you getting it right. A bit of a tricky question. I don't know if uh, that was a guess from some of you, but yeah, fifty-two. Fifty-two. Well done, well done. So let's have a look at this scoreboard. Dana still leading the way, holding on three points. Dan second place, ninety-five. Uh, Deuce points. Uh, you uh, was known as Vlad, ninety-three. Mihai still in fourth. Roxy still in fifth. Can those two break into the top three? Prizes for the top three tonight, remember, we are just passing question 20, 10 seconds till question 21. Yeah, I think you're right. I think they renamed it the Elizabeth Tower. Uh, traditionally, it's still called St. Stephen's Tower. Uh, I just popped that on there to avoid people whining that Big Ben is not the tower. Blah, blah, blah. So there's the astronauts that landed on the moon, but in which year were they all born? Everybody answered. Can Dana keep the lead? Let's have a look. They were all born in 1940, and uh, that's our lowest amount so far. 22.3% of you getting it right, so that means quite a few of you might have caught up. Dana leading the way still, though. Dan, Vlad, Mihai, Ruxi still filling our top five. Yeah, all born in 1940 in the same year. It's quite remarkable, really, when you think about it like that. Buzz Aldrin, uh, our favourite fact about Buzz Aldrin is the fact that his mother's maiden name was Moon. I don't know why that's funny, but it, it kind of is, yeah. Buzz Aldrin's mother's maiden name was Moon. He was destined to go there, really, wasn't he? Let's have a look at the next question. Which city hosted the 2010 FIFA World Cup final? Most of you getting this right, Johannesburg. Quite a picture there, isn't it? That old karate chop there. But uh, yeah, 64.4% of you getting it right. Well done, you. Well done, you. Uh, Dana, you're still out in front. Dan is in second. Mihai, making his move at last. He's broken into the top three. You are up to third. AD trying to use Shazam. Shazam, there's no music round tonight, dude. Come on now. Sam went to uni with the guy who got arrested for climbing the tower the big ben tower yeah i mean that's a claim to fame if ever i heard one 10 seconds to your next question question number 23 coming onto your screens now 
multiple answers select all of the prime numbers that you can see there all of them there are more than one select all of the prime numbers that you can see five points for everyone that you get right if you tap an incorrect answer as well that those answers will only be worth one okay so nine is not not a prime number three and one uh and nine obviously 19 29 and 59 were the three numbers that you were looking for uh, if you tapped all three of those, you would have got five for each of them. Uh, 15, if you were the fastest and did that, you would have got uh, 18. Uh, Dana, you're still leading the way by three points. Dan in second place. Uh, Mihai's disappeared off the top five. Uh, Vlad there on 115. Ruxi, you've been in fourth forever. Can you move up? Uh, Drama King now appearing for the first time in our top five. Welcome, Drama King. No Manele round, Jung. Why do people love the Manele? I, I don't get it. I mean, I know it's traditional and stuff. We'll do a Manele round again at our regular quiz. Next question. Let's have a look. On the film set, what term describes the last shot of the day? Vodka shot, martini shot, bourbon shot, or tequila shot? If you work in films, this will be a nice, easy one for you. Everybody answering? Correct answer was martini shot. That was a tough one as well. Majority of you going for tequila shot, uh, which kind of sounds like it should be. No, uh, martini shot is the correct answer. Uh, if you're on a film set and they talk about doing the martini shot, it literally means that you're about to go home, which is always great. So, Dana, still leading the way, three points, but we have a tie now. Vlad and Dan in second place. Uh, Drama King. Yeah, it's Alex, is it? Is it Alex? I think it is. I'm trying to recognize his, uh, his, his little picture down there. Uh, you are tied in fourth. Poor old Bruxy. She can't get away from fourth. Chris, your your puns are awful. What's the story behind the martini shot? I don't know, but I'm sure someone will Google it and tell us. First ever branch of Starbucks opened in which city? No, Lee, you don't get uh, minus points, but you will uh, you will only get one point if you also tap a correct answer instead of five. Okay on those multiple multiple answer questions. Ah, now that one was a bit easier, wasn't it? 92.2% of you getting it right. Seattle is the correct answer. So we have 30 seconds to go. I'm trying to answer questions for you as well as we go. Dana, still with three points. Dan and uh, Deuce points for COVID-19, still in second place. Ruxy and Drama King still in fourth, tied with fourth. Remember, if there is a tie, it will go down to whoever is fastest on the final question. But let's try another one. Affen Pincher, Keyshawn, and Leon Berger are all types of what? Dogs, cats, flowers, or German swear words? Can everybody stop encouraging Chris, please, on the feed here? That would be great. Yes, they are all dogs, German swear words. 12.5% of you went for that. Uh, Affenpischer, Keyshawn, Liam Berger, all breeds of dogs. Um, cats, uh, I, I mean, I, must, I guess there are German breeds of cats. I wouldn't have a clue what any of them are. 18.6% uh, of you uh, thought they were flowers. No, they're all dogs, 66.7% of you getting it right. Uh, Dana, still leading the way by three points from Dan and Vlad and Ruxy now clear in fourth. Uh, Drama King down there, I think that's Alex, uh, fifth by just one point. Still time to catch up. We have passed the halfway point. We have got five seconds until, <laughs> until your next question. German words you'd use after seeing Cats the movie, probably right. Which hit movie was almost called Spaceman from Pluto? Back to the Future, Space Jam, E.T. or Capex? Jon's refusing to stop making silly comments because he's having so much pun. Very good. <laughs> right, let's have a look. Lots of you going for ET. It was Back to the Future, actually. Spaceman from Pluto. Uh, I think they actually put a reference for uh, of it in the movie. He's reading a magazine or a newspaper or a comic or something like that, and it says Spaceman from Pluto. Um, Space Jam, no. ET, no. K-Pax, no. Only 16.2% of you got it right. And we have a new leader out in front. Vlad, deuce points for COVID-19. You've been there or thereabouts all the way. 
you're now in the lead. 135, Dana down to second. Dan Clear in third. Drama King, uh, I believe that's Alex, in fourth. And we have a new Butaruga Mich. I can't read all of your name. You're in fifth anyway. Five seconds till your next question. Which pop duo were the first Western band to play in the People's Republic of China? Tap away. Wham, right, said Fred, Pet Shop Boys, or Simon and Garfunkel. Everybody managing to answer. Well done. And a split again, just 36.2% of you getting it right. It was Wham. Andrew Ridgely and George Michael were the first to go over there and perform. And it was huge. It was absolutely huge. Enormous. Uh, did that change? Yes, it did. It, the leaderboard has changed again. Dana back in front. Dan down to uh, second. Tied with deuce points. Ruxy's reappeared. Hello, Ruxy. You're back in fourth. Drama King still in fifth. Let's have a look and see what's going on with these comments. Best thing about quizzing at home is letting a trump loose. Okay. Really? You just sit there in your own filth it's fine i don't mind as long as you're not here i'm good with it next question let's have a look which of the following does not have a mustache what a horrible question king of hearts king of space king of clubs king of diamonds take a guess if you know this congratulations it's a nasty question people quickly grabbing packs of cards maybe i don't know let's see if yeah, I had a feeling it would be a pretty big split. Uh, it is the King of Hearts, 29.5% of you getting it right. Tricky, tricky question. I do apologize, but I've got to throw some of these in, right? I can't I can't make it easy all the way. Uh, Dana, you still lead the way. We've still got a tie in second with Dan and Deuce Points. Drama King in fourth. Roxy down to fifth. COVID-19 is on first place, unfortunately. Yeah, it sucks, doesn't it? But you know what? It is what it is. We just got to roll with the punches, do the right thing. Stay at home, have as much fun as you possibly can, um, and uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully, we'll get through it. What else are we going to do, right? We have no choice. Five seconds till your next question. Question number thirty. Hombro is Spanish for which part of the body? Head, shoulder, knee, toe. <laughs> Chris complaining that COVID has been stuck on nineteen points all night. Yeah. That's why you're not doing so well, Chris. So hombro means shoulder. And lots of you knew this more than three out of every four players tonight getting that one right. Let's keep this time going so we can see what's happening. Did it change the leaderboard? Not really. These guys really know their stuff over here. So Ruxy, you're in fifth. Still in fourth, Drama King. Deuce points and Dan uh, tied for second. Dana clinging on to that lead with three points. We need another one of those... Uh, Multiple answer questions to maybe separate all of you. Still plenty of time for lots of you to catch up. 20 questions remaining. 20 questions to go. We've got uh, five seconds till your next question. And here it is. This spaceship appeared in which film? Spaceballs, Star Wars, Interstellar, 2001, A Space Odyssey. Heads, hombre, knees and toes. Yeah, very good. So where have you seen that spaceship before? In which movie? Everybody managing to answer. And most of you getting it right. 61.9%, nearly 62% uh, recognizing it is from the classic movie, 2001, A Space Odyssey. Uh, lots of you thought it was the ship from Spaceballs. Spaceballs was, uh, was it a giant telephone? I can't remember, but it's a crazy, crazy spaceship, isn't it? In Spaceballs. Someone look it up and tell me. Uh, Star Wars, no. Um, maybe you recognize it as the, uh, uh, was it Tantive Four or something, the, uh, the the ship at the beginning. Uh, Interstellar, definitely not. Yeah, 2001, A Space Odyssey. <laughs> yeah, we did have a Spaceships Losers round a while back, and uh, maybe we put a question about that in. I don't know. All right, three seconds to go to your next question. Here it is. Which of the following is not found on the famous door of 10 Downing Street? A letterbox, a keyhole, a lion's head, or the number 10? Three of them are on the door. One of them isn't. Which one is not on the door of 10 Downing Street? Everybody managing to answer. Dana holding a one-point lead, and she still does. 
split you there. It's a keyhole. You can't open 10 Downing Street from the outside. That's why every time you see somebody going up to the door, they either have to knock or someone opens it. If it's the PN, they know he's coming uh, and they open it from the inside. You, there is no uh, keyhole. There's no door handle. You can't get in. The lion's head is the knocker. Uh, and there is a letterbox, bizarrely. Uh, and obviously that is the number 10 as well. So what's that done to the leaderboard? Well, Roxy's still clinging in uh, fifth place. Drama King still in fourth. Dan in third. Deuce points uh, on 147 in second. Uh, and Dana leading the way on 148, but by just one point now. Let's have a look at your next question. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, but which one is it? Michelangelo, Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael. Do you remember the colors of the bandanas? Who is that? Big split here, but most of you getting it right. The majority getting it right. Yeah, that's Leonardo, the leader. I did uh, take out his little owl on his uh, belt there because uh, it was just too easy wouldn't it and we have joint leaders look at this dan and dana fighting it out now on 153 just points just one point behind them in third place on 152 drama king and ruxy filling the next two places as they have done for a while uh yes i said knocker i said knocker i'm hilarious i know um <laughs> donatello was purple it was once a question in the regular quiz i think you're right victor i think you're right Raphael was red and uh and uh michelangelo orange i think Got that right? Maybe. I can't remember. I'm not good, but I do remember Leonardo. Next question. In which century is Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet set? 12th, 13th, 14th, or 15th? Tea time. Tea time. Tea time. Tea time. Everybody managing to answer? That's good. And 47.4% of you getting it right, it was the 14th century, set in the 14th century. That is uh, the version, one of the versions from the old Vic there. I thought I'd pop that on there, than the classic uh, Claire Danes, Leonardo DiCaprio movie, which, you know. Uh, scores, still a tie. Dana and Dan, 158. You have got six points uh, cushion, six point cushion, two deuce points. Drama King and Roxy still in fourth and fifth. It's nice to know that we're educating you, Jon. You know, we do put a lot of pop culture in, but, you know, pop culture is fun, isn't it? We love it. Ten seconds to your next question. Question number 35 coming up. What does the Q stand for in QR code? That is a QR code right there. But what does the Q stand for? Quantum quality quick or quote? You can try scanning that if you want. I have no idea where it leads to. I think it came from Wikipedia. Everybody answered. It does stand for quick. Yes, quick, quick, quick. 81.6% of you getting it right. And Dana and Dan both got it right as well. One of you needs to get that uh, that fastest finger here because that will separate the two of you. Just points there still in uh, third. Ruxy in fourth. Drama King in fifth quack <laughs> a quack code i don't know that sounds good that does sound good thanks lad i now get it yeah i didn't see that eurovision was uh, was called off today uh, that's a shame i saw glastonbury was off no real surprise there but uh thanks lad. that does make sense now with your team name your your personal team name next question coming up how many pins are on a SCART connector used to connect video equipment? 17, 19, 21, or 23? Any techers amongst you probably know that the answer is 21. It's known as a 21-pin SCART. So 57.3% getting it right. And look, it looks like Dust Points managed to get a bonus there because he's moved uh, slightly. Oh, I'm getting it wrong. 168, 168. The two guys out in front, Dana and Dan, have moved ahead. So they must have picked up the bonuses there. Uh, Dust Points, 157. Roxy still in fourth. And Drama King still in fifth. Is anybody going to break these five? Can anybody do it? I don't want to hear any complaints about questions before you were born, all right? History existed before you appeared, I can promise you that. I scarted, so I'll finish. Chris, you are, let's not say what you are. 
Next question, which actor appeared in the video for Michael Jackson's song? Remember the time? Was it Eddie Murphy, John Candy, Macaulay Culkin, or Richard Pryor? Think back to that video. I used to watch it on MTV or VH1, it'd pop up. Who was in the, Who was in it? Actually, I think there were lots of actors in it, but only one of these guys. And it was Eddie Murphy, 62.1% getting it right. And we have an outright leader at last. Dan has broken Dana and uh, moved ahead by three points. Dana, you're still there, 173. Uh, deuce points, still in third, 162. But uh, Roxy and Drama King have closed the gap on you, going for that detergent in third place. It's still very, very close. Yeah, Iman and Michael Jordan were in it as well. It was all uh, Egyptian themed, wasn't it? It was, it was pretty cool, actually. I love. I mean, he spent, he used to spend a fortune on his uh, on his videos. They were pretty spectacular. That one he did with his sister Janet Jackson. What was that one when they were in the the spaceship? And it was like, yeah, phenomenal. Right. Next question coming up now. The Dickin Medal is specifically awarded to which of the following: musicians, porn stars, animals, or architects? Tongue in cheek question. I know. So question 38, who would receive the Dickin Medal? 26.5% of you going for porn stars, seriously, do they give medals for that? I don't think so. It's animals, 24.5% of you getting it right. Yes, animals. I've got a feeling some of you are just going for the, the most ridiculous answer I put on here. That's fine. I don't I don't mind. I'm concerned that a quarter of the people playing tonight genuinely think that medals are given out to porn stars, but that's okay. If that's what you're after, if that's your thing, get into it, get your medal, good luck to you. Uh, it's not musicians, it's not architects, yeah. Animals. It is the uh, the, the the famous uh, uh, award given to animals. Uh, the animal that's most won it most is uh, a pigeon. Pigeons have won it more, uh, followed by dogs. Uh, let's have a look at your next question. Question thirty nine. Which cast member from Friends stars in the British sit sitcom uh, episodes? I nearly said, com. I didn't. I said sitcom. So who is in episodes? Oh, my God. Episodes is so cool as well. It's uh, it's great what you can do with comedy when you take off the laughter track. 59.2% getting it right. Matt LeBlanc, yes, he uh, was also on Top Gear for a while. Uh, since they got rid of him, that's become good. If you haven't seen episodes, highly recommend it. It's it's quite brilliant. It is really, really good. Uh, and, uh, yeah, there's your friend's question. We tend to get a friend's question for whatever reason at every quiz. Tonight was no different. Dan's still leading the way, but it's by five points now. Dana. Dana, you're still there in second. Deuce Point still in third. Drama King still in fourth. And Ruxy still in fifth. These have been our top five for a long time now. Can anybody break them? <laughs> Sorry that you don't know what episodes is, Mihai, but I promise you it's brilliant. Next question. Which international football team does this man represent? He is a bit of a legend at the moment, scoring more goals than any other player in the world. But which international uh, team does he play for? So a bit of a split, but most of you getting it right here. That is Erling Haaland. He is a just a most phenomenal 19-year-old striker at the moment, playing for Borussia, and he represents Norway. 44.6% of you getting it. A bit of a split with everybody else. Dan has increased his lead at the top here. Uh, he's on 188. Dana on 183. Deuce points on 178. Drama King on 172. Ruxy just behind on 171. Can anybody get these five out? I don't know. Where are you all? Are you playing? Come on. 10 seconds to your next question. The puns seem to have stopped, thankfully. I thought there'd be something with Norway, but don't worry. Next question coming up now. Which of the following Russian spacecraft names means East? Salyut, Vostok, Soyuz, or Sputnik? One of them translates as the word East. Which one is it? Okay, everybody managing to answer, well done. 47.5% of you getting it right. It is Vostok. Uh, yeah, Vostok in Russian translates as the word East. Uh, and we have a bit of a change in our top five, but only a small one. Dan's still leading the way by five points. 
And uh, then we've got this point now in second place, tied with Dana. They are both going for that second place prize. Uh, Drama King, 177. You could easily break into that top two. Uh, and Ruxy, you're still there in fifth. No prize for fifth or fourth. So you guys try and get those bonuses. That will move you up. Thanks, Maruna. We know you're there. Uh, but, you know, it's all about getting used to it, isn't it? Next time, maybe. Next time. Next time we'll win. Uh, five seconds to go to your next question. We are into our final 10 questions of our first online quiz. In which city would you find Michelangelo's famous marble sculpture, David? Where would you have to go to see that sculpture? I've uh, done a close-up of his face, so there's no root bits being shown. And everybody managing to get an answer in. Well done. Yeah, it's in Florence. Uh, you can't go and see it at the moment. Uh, you know, if you're here joining us from Italy, I don't know if we've got anyone from Italy tonight. Uh, if not, if you've got friends in Italy and uh, they haven't got anything to do on a Wednesday, tell us. Okay, tell us. Uh, let's contact them. Get them in. Get them in next Wednesday. Let's see if we can get a few of those guys over there joining us as well. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. Hey, uh, Florence, it's not in Rome. It's not in Paris. One of you, I think. One or two of you thought it was London. It is not. Uh, no change on the leaderboard. Dan followed by Dana and uh, and Deuce Points, Vlad, uh, Drama King, Alex in fourth, and uh, we do have a change. Shumi has moved into the top five. We have a new person in the top five, making a late charge. We're heading into question 43. What type of bird is the cartoon character Roadrunner? It is based on a real bird, and the Roadrunner is a real bird. So the cartoon character is based on a real bird called the Roadrunner, but what type of bird is a Roadrunner? Nobody believing it's a chicken, that's good, but there was a real split between the other three answers, the correct answer being a cuckoo. Yes, Roadrunner is actually a cuckoo. Uh, crane, pheasant, I, I mean, he looks like a crane. If I was guessing, that's the one I would have gone for. Uh, a Roadrunner is um, actually a, a cuckoo. Uh, did that change too much? Well, we have got a little change here. Dan still out in front by five points. Dana and Deuce points behind him, tied together. Drama King then trading by six. And Tommy has appeared. Tommy, welcome into our top five. Uh, can you push on and get into that top three? Dana, by virtue of your questions, uh, your answers being faster, you have, uh, you've gone ahead. So in theory, you're in second, but you are tied at the moment. Let's have a look at the next question. In the Bible, what is the last book of the Old Testament? Ten more seconds to answer. And everybody managing to get their answer in. Well done, well done. Bit of a split. Uh, just 27.7% of you getting Malachi. Malachi is the last book. Did that change things? Yes, it did. Well, if you look at the scores now, oh my day. So what we've got, six questions remaining and a three-way tie at the top. Deuce points. Dana, Dan, you are tied on 193. Then comes Drama King, uh, essentially in fourth place on 187. And Tommy still there on 183. It's a shootout as we go into our last six questions. Three way tie. I believe that's uh, Vlad, isn't it, on Deuce points? Then Dana and then Dan. These questions are becoming quite important. Who will be our first ever online winner? Let's have a look. Next question coming up. Get ready. If you were looking at the Mount Rushmore monument, which president is on the far left? You should do that, right? I don't know which way you're seeing me. Doesn't matter. But who is on the far left as you look at the George Washington monument? Uh, sorry, as you look at the Mount Rushmore monument. Well, that was a slip of the tongue, wasn't it? Did that help anybody? I doubt it. I said it at the end. George Washington, yeah, 55.4% uh, of you getting it right, as did Dan, Vlad, and Dana. Drama King, you're still there in fourth. Tommy, you're still there in fifth. There may well be, as we go into our last five questions, at least one question that has more than one correct answer. That could be the one that splits you guys. Remember, if you get a correct answer on there, it's worth five. Okay, but if you tap an incorrect answer, any correct answer that you have tapped only becomes worth one. You have to be careful. We have seven seconds until our next question. Will the next question split you? Question number 46. In The Simpsons, what color is the dress most often worn by Marge Simpson? Yellow, red, green, or blue? We've seen it a million times, haven't we? But come on, what color is her dress? 
It's getting tense. 37.6, uh, 37.9% getting it right. It's green. For some reason, I always think it's yellow as well, but it's not. She's yellow. The, 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 the dress is green, and that has changed things. Does points now. In the lead, Vlad, out in front. We've got a tie. Dan, you are just ahead of Dana on the fact that you have uh, answered some questions quicker, uh, but you are tied on points. Drama King, though, is only one point behind you on 197, and Tommy is still there on 188. So we have got a real shootout now as we go into our final four questions to become the first ever champion of the Fast 50 quiz. We've got uh, five seconds for your next question. Get ready. Here it comes. Which band appears in the final scenes of the 2013 film This Is The End? NSYNC, New Kids on the Block, One Direction, or The Backstreet Boys? Which band is at the end of that movie? It's a brilliant scene at the end of the movie. Which band is it? A bit of a split, but 41.2% of you getting it right. It is The Backstreet Boys, and it's changed again on the leaderboard. Does points, you are out in front now on 208. Dan, you're on 206. Dana drops to third place on 203, being chased down by Alex the Drama King on 202. Tommy remains in fourth. It looks like it's probably going to be between uh, these top four for the top three places. And we only have three questions remaining. Remember, one of them might be a question with more than one answer. Might be, might not. We will see. There are three questions remaining. The live chat has gone quiet because it's all got a bit tense and everybody's concentrating. Here it comes. Next question. There's a book cover. Which novel? Which novel? Is it Fifty Shades of Grey, Fifty Shades Darker or Fifty Shades Freed? Three seconds. Everybody answering. 61.4% getting it right. It is Fifty Shades of Grey. The leaderboard changes again. Dan, you are still in front. By uh, Sorry, Dan has gone in the front. He's leapt up there with just a couple of questions remaining. Dan leads by three points. We have a tie for second with Dana and, uh, and Vlad. And Drama King Alex still just the one point behind. Tommy, you're down there in fifth. We have two questions remaining. Remember, one of them may or may not have more than one answer. 15 seconds till the next question. The live chat is absolutely silent as people concentrate on these final questions. This is for the honor of winning our first ever online quiz. It's tense. Here we go. Albert Einstein once described what as the most difficult thing to understand? Was he talking about income tax, mathematics, women, or the language Welsh? Income tax, mathematics, women, Welsh. What did Albert Einstein describe as the most difficult thing to understand? Look at this. Unbelievable. It's income tax. 26.2% getting it right. And unbelievably, he's done it. He's moved up to the top. Drama King now in the lead for the first time this evening. 214 points. One point behind you. Does points on 213. Dan, you're in third on 211. Dana, you're in fourth on 208. Tommy, you're still there on 198. I think our winner is going to come from the top four. It will come down to your final question. Your final question, I can tell you, has multiple answers. Multiple answers for the final question. This is for all the biscuits, people. Five seconds to go. Get ready. Here it comes. Which of the following are official Disney princesses? Click away. Click all the official Disney princesses. It's tense. And the answers are in. Snow White was correct. Cinderella was correct. Moana was correct. Pocahontas was correct. Elsa, as we know, at our big British Bucharest quiz, is not an official Disney princess. So we have a winner. Drama King, you did it. You are unbelievable. Last two questions. You're out there. 234 points. Does points. You come in second on 215. Dan, 214. You are our third place winner. You're going to get detergent, Dan. You are in the detergent club. Dana, I'm so sorry, sweetheart. You're doing so well all the way, but you've got the honor of finishing fourth out of all of these players. Absolutely brilliant. Look, guys, we're about to end now.
There you go. Let's have a look then at the top 10, just so you can see how well you did. Atrocism finished in 10th, Shumi in 9th, Hapchu in 8th, Aerial Souls. Well done, Katty. You came 7th. You were tied with Sneaky Vixen. She's just ahead of you, I'm afraid, uh, based on fastest answers. Tommy then, top 5. Tommy, Dana, Dan, uh, Vlad, and Alex, you're our first ever winner, mate. I'm going to keep the Venom Pot for you. He's going to be in your hands very, very soon. We're going to contact you and send you a code so you can go shopping online. Uh, and uh, you've just won 200 late to spend at GBRtronics. Uh, just points. Vlad, well done, mate. You get 100, uh, 100 late to spend down at uh, GBR as well. And uh, it seems like people are thanking us. Look, thank you. Thank you. If you've enjoyed this, please tell people about it. Uh, please send us pictures. If you haven't taken one, take a picture tonight of you playing, even if you're on your own or with whoever you've been playing with, and uh, we will do this again. The next one will be next Wednesday, but as I said, I promise I'm going to start dropping a few more extra ones in. So please keep supporting us through our Patreon page because uh, it's the only way that my company and quizzes and Sing Along Bingo and everything else that we do, both here and in Timisoara and beyond, um, it's the only way that we're going to be able to survive. So, guys... That was the Fast 50 quiz. I'm going to sign off now and just thank you all. Love your loads. And uh, I'll be online for a bit. If you want to hit me up on our uh, Big British Bucharest Facebook page or on my personal page, by all means, drop me a line. I'm well aware that we made one mistake in a question tonight. Uh, take full responsibility. Wouldn't be a quiz, though, would it, without me making at least one cock up? So it's there for you. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, and we'll see you next week.